Hey friends, welcome back to another video. We'll hear Orlando based flight attendant. Hope you are doing wonderful officially home. It's been a few crazy days. I am still not back at work yet. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Today's video is all about travel bags. I'm going to be sharing with you what were some of the bags that I brought with me when I went to flight attendant training. For those of you that are up for training, I will also be sharing with you what bags I've been using on the line. So as soon as you graduate, you will be going to the lines. And I'm also going to share with you travel bags because some of those I've been using for my personal travels. And I'm also going to share with you about lunch boxes I know a lot of you guys are like mmm travel the lunchbox you will probably save tons of money and you will definitely need a lunchbox if you are concerned about eating airport food so stay tuned make sure that you continue watching the video before we do that I want to give you an update about my mom I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments what's going on she is home and she is recovering. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, we still talk about your mom, Will? Well, this vlog is about the flight attendant life and everything that comes with it. So yes, we are still talking about my mom, but we'll leave it at that. I will eventually, sometime later in the upcoming weeks, we'll give you an update, but I am back in Orlando and I should go to work tomorrow. I do have a train that I posted on the trade board for someone to work. I've been dropping my turns left and right. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't feel like going to work. I love my job, but there's something about just staying in bed all day that sounds more exciting. I don't know if it's that I'm trying to catch up, you know, with sleep and these past couple weeks have been very, very intense and maybe I just need a break, but I shouldn't think that way because I'm supposed to go on vacation next month and I do have to work a lot before I go on vacation. Later, I have to go into the system to see if someone picked up the turn. If not, I have to be up at two in the morning for a 4.30 a.m. show. That's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's talk about bags, guys. Let's take a sip of coffee first. Oh, this is very good. I'm drinking all the coffee I can because in April, I'm gonna try my best to go caffeine free for a whole month. So enjoy my coffee now. I stopped drinking lattes, which is what I used to drink. Now I only drink black coffee. And it's crazy how black coffee only has like five calories versus a latte that has like 180, depending on the size that you order. Sometimes we don't think about the calories that we're drinking. Let's talk about bags. If you hadn't noticed by now, I have a lot of bags that I've been collecting over the years. Some of them I've had before I started working here and I'm not gonna lie, when I made the purchase, I'll show you those two bags. It was with the intention of using it for whenever I went to in-flight training because believe it or not, years ago, I knew that I was going to end up doing this as my job. It was, it was kind of like meant to be. I'm gonna start with the bigger luggage so that we can get out the way quickly. Some of these bags have stuff inside so I'm not even going to attempt to open it. This is the check back that I had for training. I primarily focused on making sure that I had all of my clothes in here. I know training for most airlines is probably four weeks. Some might be five, some might be six, or even seven. My advice to you is just pack for two weeks. I guarantee you that wherever you're going to stay, there's going to be laundry. No way for you to bring a whole month worth of clothes because you're probably not even going to use half of it. You're going to be in classes every day and they're probably going to assign you a uniform. You might not even need half of the clothes that you're going to pack in here. So packing a check back with all of your clothes, shoes, keep in mind the season that you're going to training. When I went, it was summer. I didn't have the need to pack coats or sweaters or jeans, even though, you know, I still brought one or two just in case. I did use packing cubes for this. Packing cubes and other travel gadgets are for a whole different video. I can probably link some of those below if you'd like. All the luggage that I have really is black primarily because the one that I got is for work and it is required to be that color. I feel like this color in general just looks so uniform that I really love it. I would suggest because a lot of people have black luggage, just add some sort of zipper pulls or keychains so that you can recognize your bag. But for the most part, you're probably just going to need one of these to pack all of your essentials for training. This is a carry-on that I actually 
actually got to use when I was on the line after graduation. But in this one, I packed all of my toiletries, travel gadgets. I also packed some of my electronics, like my camera, my laptop, and other required items that I needed to bring for training. I was able to use it on the line for, I wanna say like six months before I ended up getting a travel pro. You really don't have to break the bank with buying luggage. My personal recommendation, try to get the luggage with black logos. It looks more uniform, but sometimes if you get like an all black luggage with like red wheels, really? These bags I got from eBags. Most of them I got on sale. This one has been retired. So when I went to London last summer, I actually took this one, but for the most part, I don't use it anymore. It holds like a sentimental value for me. This one's a spinner, which is a lot easier when you are at the airport, especially when you go to work. However, spinners are not the strongest bags. They are comfortable, but sometimes the wheels give up on you pretty quickly. So I took a lot of care and here we are. She's still here with me. I might use it sometime in the near future. Next is my rollerboard from work. This is a travel pro and this is the number one rollerboard used by aviation professionals. And you can pretty much find them on travelpro.com. Uh, this is specifically for crew. So you can also go to travel pro outlet stores. You just have to bring your airline ID and yeah, you can buy it with a discount. I actually got this back from my classmate Jenner. He went to United. I believe he was using a different brand and and he was like, yo, Will, my travel pro is like brand new if you want it. And I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll buy it. So the next bag that I have here is like an underseater. This one is from Ebax as well. This is the bag that I use for turns. I like that it has this pocket for a water bottle. I just pack enough for one night in case I get stuck anywhere. So if you are thinking about turns, this bag is a very good alternative. And if you are not going to work as a flight attendant, but you still like the bag, this bag is also great for when you go on a weekend trip or just a two day trip. Even locally if you're just staying overnight somewhere i'm gonna move on to smaller items because we need a break from holding those heavy bags but i have this crossbody bag from ogeo or ohio it's one of the two i don't know exactly what the pronunciation is but it's one of those i got this crossbody matching with a backpack which i'll show you in a minute this crossbody bag i throw in my rollerboard whenever i go on trips so if i am going out with crew or if i'm just going out to explore and stuff like that it's pretty spacious i am able to fit most of my stuff and I just keep it right here because some places you go pickpocketing is real guys <laughs> I also have this one which I almost feel like it's a Lululemon dupe I found it at Marshall's for like ten dollars and same thing I just throw items like wallet or passport or my AirPods. yeah definitely recommend buying one of these again you don't have to buy any of these brands you just have to buy what works for you my goal here is to show you some of the bags that I've been using so that you can kind of have an idea this is the Ohio backpack and earlier I was sharing that you should identify your bags with like zipper pulls I got these cyan blue zipper pulls because they really match our uniform at the airline I work for so almost every bag that I bring for work has them so this one is I think 20 liters if I'm not mistaken and I'm able to hold most of my essentials I usually keep my flight attendant bag in here with all my required duty items I pack a jacket I sometimes throw my iPad in here I do love that it has pockets so in one pocket I would throw my water bottle and the other one my coffee mug with all these bags, all you have to look is for convenience. What is this bag doing for me and how it's gonna simplify my life? But this one is actually from Herschel and it almost looks like a briefcase. I do like that it has a trolley sleeve, so I can just throw that over my roller board. And for this one, kind of like the same thing with the backpack, I normally just throw essentials like my iPad or my flight bag or, you know, just pretty much anything that I need access to in flight. Sometimes I kind of like switch between the backpack and this one. You're probably wondering, do you need that many? No. Do I like these bags? Yes. <laughs> My next one is this hybrid bag from Herschel as well. It kind of looks like a toad, but back here, it actually has two straps and you can turn this back into a backpack. When I started my flight attendant job, I was flying with this bag religiously and the carry-on bag, and I would always get compliments on this bag. It's very similar to the other one in terms of like the briefcase. I feel like you're able to fit more stuff, but it does have the two pockets and then the laptop sleep as well. My newest addition to this bag collection is the bento bag from Nomad Lane, which I did a whole video on this bag. And if you have not watched this video, 
go ahead down here to the description box so you can see what I'm talking about. This one I have yet to use for a flight attendant trip just because I have not gone on a trip. I do have a four day trip coming up and I plan to bring this one. So many compartments in this bag and I can go on and on. Some of my favorite ones is the trolley sleeve that you can actually convert into a pocket. This is a foam pocket over here. It has a big firm pocket as well. And then up here has two smaller compartments and in one of them you can store a tech bag that comes with the bag and a toiletry bag as well. I've actually used this bag on my personal travel. When I went to Puerto Rico, I did use this bag and this is the only item I brought. Feel free to check that video out. These are the bags that I've been using for the past three years. Some of these bags I use on my personal travel. And again, keep in mind that you don't have to overpack with one or two bags, you're gonna be fine, especially for those that are going to training. A lot of you guys are getting CJOs, especially with my airline, because I think we're the only ones that are actively hiring right now. For the rest of you that are not going to flight attendant training, like I said earlier, one thing that you have to look for bags is how easy is this bag gonna make my life or my travel experience and go with that. Now one item that most flight attendants travel with is lunch boxes. So let's head over to the kitchen so that I can show you the lunch boxes that I've been using over the past three years. I'm gonna start off with the one from Ebax. You will probably see that most flight attendants have this one. Personally, I like the Ebax lunch box better. The one from Travel Pro, this one is slightly bigger. So this bag I normally use when I go on three or four day trips. Whenever I have like a turn or a two day trip, I normally bring this one. So I'm just gonna put them to the side so that you can slightly compare. Lastly, I have this smaller lunch box, which I feel like this one is very fitting for like when you're working a turn, but because this one has a top compartment, <clears throat> so I feel like it's better for when I'm working turns. From time to time, I'll use a smaller launch box. I used to have a life with one. When I, I bought the e-bags, I donated my life with to someone when I was Chicago based. And yeah, I don't have it anymore and I never bought it again. These are the three launch boxes that I have and I try to rotate as much as I can between them. And if you notice, I do have zipper bowls on all of them. I got them on Amazon, I can probably link them on the description box if you want to check them out that's pretty much it for my travel bag collection i hope that you enjoy learning a bit more about the bags that i've owned over the years i don't know when i'm going back to work but we'll figure it out next week so if you did enjoy this video if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we're so close to 3,000 subscribers i'm hoping that we can hit that number by summer i'll see you next week for another video take care